Hey guys, today we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wilds and today we're gonna be doing an updated Trophy Lodge tour. 2023 was a pretty crazy year and especially the last couple of months, I have put a lot of new trophies. We actually have had two great ones already in 2024. So today we're gonna have a look at all 24 of my great ones. We're gonna have a look at my very best rares, some of the sweet diamonds that you have not seen yet. We're not gonna look at absolutely everything, just the very best, and we are going to try and go through it very quickly. Now, let me know in the comments, guys, what your absolute favorite trophy is that you see in today's video, and I am gonna drop a keyword somewhere in the video. Drop that keyword in the comments for your chance to win a one month membership to the channel, and let's roll right into it. So we are here in my Whitetail Great One Lodge. There is not much in here that is not a Whitetail. Now my very first Whitetail grind was done in Rancho Del Arroyo. Scratch that, it ended in Rancho Del Arroyo. It actually started in Leighton Lakes. I shot 2,800 deer in Leighton. No Great One spawned and that was years ago and Whitetail actually broke and everyone stopped grinding Whitetail until Rancho came out and they got fixed. Then in Rancho, I went ahead and shot 4,576 bucks to spawn my very first whitetail great one. And this guy on the left that we're looking straight at, that is him right there. September the 6th, 2021 was the day I spawned my very first great one. Now, since then, I have had two more duplicates of this exact rack spawn. So I do have three of them. And ironically, when I had four whitetail great ones, I only had two different racks. Three of them were exactly the same. Now, luckily we have had a couple more spawn that I didn't have and this this guy right here spawned on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to me. And we shot him on the 27th and he is a crown rack and I absolutely love him. This is actually my second whitetail great one and this rack right in the middle is my favorite whitetail great one out of all seven that I have. But the last one that we got was just a few days ago and this is him right here. January the 13th, 2024 and isn't he stunning. But as far as rares go, if you can believe it on that very first grind. I spawned 34 rares and none of them, none of them were gold. All of them were silver or below. Then when I did start using herd management, my rares started to get a lot bigger and this is actually a multi-mount of all gold melanistic whitetail and that is 100% because I am using herd management. Man, my grinds got so much better when I started to use HM. Now, if you would like to learn how to, I will leave the links to several herd management videos in the description below. But my biggest whitetail to date is 275.53, but unfortunately he is not in this lodge because I got him on the beta and we didn't get to keep our trophies. But this guy's pretty big. That's back from 2021. He is a 274.4, one of my biggest. This here is is a multi-mount of all piebald whitetail, all golds, the biggest one being 225. Right now we are shooting to try and spawn a super rare whitetail. It hasn't happened yet, but I am going to keep shooting until it does. Okay, so mainly what is in this lodge is Silver Ridge Peaks and Savannah trophies. And this is a crowned wildebeest. We got this guy in July of this past year and I had been looking for one of these for quite a while. I do have a few of them on Xbox, but none on PC. So this is my first and they are very rare and very difficult to find. And I think they are just stunning. Now I just have a female albino wildebeest. I do need to look for a male, but very, very sweet. And this is one of my very biggest Cape buffaloes ever. I took him down with the recurve bow and he is a brown. So that is a very sweet trophy. And look at the insane horns on this cape. That guy's not too bad up there as well. Now over here, this is pronghorn corner. We have a leucistic. We have several diamonds up on the wall. This guy here is a piebald. And then I have a couple albinos. This guy's really sweet. He's a gold, 78.9. And then we have another albino behind him that is a silver. Now I have quite a few gray diamond mountain lions. Now they are not super rares. Gray is not a rare color. It is unfortunately just a common color now, but still is a very cool trophy. Now these two trophies did not happen over the past year, but they still deserve a mention because these two mountain goats were in the same zone. Yes, it was back when they were drinking and I wish mountain goats would get their drink zone back. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments say EW please give mountain goats a drink time again look at the time that these guys were shot this guy was shot on March the 24th at 1712 and this guy was shot 
spot, March the 24th at 17.13, one minute apart. And then up on the wall here, we have a diamond mouflon, several diamond turkeys. Turkeys are definitely common diamonds, a Canadian goose, and we do have a side striped jackal, and small predators are definitely not the easiest trophies to find. This is a dark brown lion. It is definitely a rare. Now, I am terrible. I have a lot of rares that I had no idea were rare until I picked them up, and this is definitely one of them. I have a hard time telling. And this lion on the top is a blonde. And once again, I had no idea that he was rare until I picked him up. And he's actually a level seven, so he's a pretty sweet one. And this cape isn't too bad. He is a gold albino, 121.7. So I do need to do some grinding for some albino females, but I did get my very first albino lion over the past year. And here he is right here. This grind only took 250 kills. Now he's only a level five, so I definitely could be talking in to doing that grind again for a bigger albino but they all look the same in the trophy lodge and albino lions are absolutely beautiful one of the most beautiful rares in the entire game now i have a pretty sweet little muley collection this guy here is an albino again i shot him while he was standing in a tree no idea he was albino until i picked him up <laughs> And even then, I thought he was dilute for a split second until I saw Albino on the scorecard. Now I'm gonna tell the truth here. This guy was not rare when I shot him. Dilutes have since become rare, but he is still a beautiful trophy. Now I have four diamond muleys in here. This is definitely one of my favorite racks and it's not even the biggest. This guy is a max weight. I much prefer this rack back here to this one, just personal preference. And this is another rack that I think is absolutely beautiful and that is another max waiter. It's funny how not always the biggest scores mean that we have the nicest rack. It just doesn't always compute that way. But here I have two max scoring black bears and they both were shot before the black bear great ones even came out. And then we have a piebald, pretty nice muley, 258.8. There are two different variations for muleys and this is the second variation and this is what we call a patchy piebald and he is a nice one as well. So the only muley I really need is a really nice big melanistic and it probably is going to be the toughest to find. Now if you would like to find a super rare in the missions this is the diamond albino brown bear that comes from the medved missions. I will leave a link to that video in the description below if you'd like to know how to get it. And then I have quite a few very sweet rare mountain lions. This is a gold melanistic 36.2. Then we have an albino silver. Ooh a 37 gold mela. That's a sweet one. And the irony here is I haven't seen an albino or a melanistic mountain lion in a very long time. And then Rocky Mountain Elk are one of my favorite diamonds just because the racks are so stunning. And this is my biggest one to date, at least on PC. 500.6 and then up on the wall we do have four more and they are all in the 495 range. And this guy is a piebald. And here we have an albino gold plains bison. That's a nice big one, very sweet. And I have quite a few diamond blue wildebeest. Now guys, if you are looking for your very first diamond, seriously consider hunting blue wildebeest. They are very common diamonds. They go diamond at level four and level five. Basically, you wanna shoot every level four that goes up to 290 kilograms. If you are in pounds, just times that number by 2.2 and you wanna be shooting max weight range level fours and fives and there are quite a few diamond wildebeest out there that are just waiting to be shot. Definitely focus on them and one of the best spots to find them is the big lake on the left side in Savannah. And this is a gold diamond blue wildebeest. Now, unfortunately, they are not rare, but they are still very cool. Now, this is my only albino bighorn sheep. It is a silver. I am looking to upgrade him, but still a sweet find nonetheless. Okay, so now we are in my fallow deer lodge. Now, we did a lot of fallow deer grinding in the summer. Haven't done any in a while, but we will pick it up before too long. But this here is a multi-mount of all gold piebald fallow deer. And since they were remodeled, Modeled, they are absolutely stunning. So the biggest one here is 215.9. Not my biggest, but the biggest one in this multi-mount. Now this is a multi-mount of each of the different rares. Now this albino is my absolute biggest. He is a 
39.5 and he is one of my favorite rares in the game. Now unfortunately we don't have a monster melanistic fallow quite yet. That guy is a 156 and this guy is a 181.9 so this guy would be my biggest mela to date. And that is my first albino eurobison so that was a very sweet find. And then back here are the great one fallow deer and to date I have four of them and as you can see they all have the same rack. Now lucky for me the Irish elk rack is my favorite rack so I'm gonna be grateful that it is my favorite but I am hoping to spawn a different rack for my next few fallow great ones. Now lucky for me this is my absolute favorite great one fallow combo. This is the fabled silver with the Irish elk rack and I actually have two of them. And then this right here is a pretty crazy trophy. This is a super troll. This guy was a level 5 leucistic reindeer. I actually found him on my very first YouTube stream ever. November the 2nd. Then in here, there's my first and only Diamond Magpie Goose. We have a Blue Bobcat and they are pretty cool looking. No shortage of Diamond Fallow. Lots of those. And this is the tiniest multi-mount of all of the Fallow Deer rares. I think that's kind of hilarious. And this here is an Albino Roosevelt Elk. Now, it's been a while since I shot him, but obviously he was shot in Layton Lakes on my own map back in 2021 and he was a level three and I took him down with the bow. And I do have a few diamond Rosies, Roosevelt Elks in the lodge. And there is a diamond saltwater croc. I really wish we had more floor mounts because they're so much cooler to see on a floor mount than sticking out of the wall. Some trophies need to be celebrated by seeing the entire body. Recently, I did find my very first two diamond Eurobison on PC and there they are together. I got them basically in the same hunt. Okay, so now we're in my Red Deer Lodge. Now I have not grinded Red Deer in quite a while and the reason I haven't is just because the Great One Red Deer all pretty much look the same and I already do have six Red Deer Great Ones. But I definitely do need to upgrade some of my trophies. Unfortunately, I have some pretty sweet melanistics. Now back when I was grinding Red Deer, they used to drink at night and it's not easy to see melanistic red deer in the dark. So I did shoot two melanistic red deer with the 300 in the dark. So unfortunately this should be a gold, but it is a silver. So I wouldn't mind finding another one of these or an even bigger one. I would love to find a super rare mel of red deer. That would just be so crazy. Now this here is a big drac red deer troll. So when you see that rack, don't celebrate too soon. They definitely can troll you and it's the only one that I've ever had. He definitely deserved a spot in the lodge. Now to date, this is my biggest albino red deer. I didn't actually get him in the red deer grind. I got him on opening day for Te Awaroa. But back here, I have all of my red deer great ones. We have six of them and the biggest is the last one at 270.2. Now the very first one didn't go so great. He took a step when I went to shoot with the bow and we did not get him. So lucky for me, he was the biggest right up until we spawned that last one and we do have one bigger. Now this guy is a mythical melanistic brown bear. Now this is the world's tiniest piebald fallow deer. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> It cracks me up. Now over here is my rares room for red deer. Now during my first grind, I did not use herd management. I literally shot every male red deer. If it had antlers, it was gonna die. And because of that, I do have some very tiny rares. If you shoot small stuff, you're gonna spawn small stuff. So after that, we did start using herd management and I started to shoot the level fives and above. And then I started to get much larger rares and my grinds definitely started to take way less kills. My first grind took 4,400 kills and when I started using herd management, the longest grind after that, and there were five more grinds, took 2,200 kills and I do have several grinds that were under a thousand kills. Now this guy, I wish they would say the level. I'm not sure if this is a seven or an eight, but it is a very sweet piebald. Pretty sure this guy is a mythical. This guy's definitely a seven and he is stunning. And this guy is also a mythical and I took him with the crossbow. But my biggest piebald is a nine legendary guaranteed troll, another super troll. Unfortunately, he is not a super rare, but he is 
still absolutely stunning, and I am still proud of him. Very happy to have him in the lodge. I haven't counted them all, not recently anyway. I'm not sure how many there are, but there are sure a lot of pie vaults. Holy. Now, this is a good spot for today's key phrase, and it is, we need customizable lodges. So this guy is a melanistic gator. Now, I don't love this trophy lodge. I find it really dark, and there just isn't enough floor mounts, but I've run out of room in the Seesca lodges, so this lodge will have to do. So these are trophies from Mississippi Acres. There is a diamond gator, and then I have a couple of different piebalds. Okay, this room's a little bit empty, but we do have hidden here five diamond bantang. Now, obviously they came out last June with Emerald Coast. Now, I actually have six of them, so I'm not sure where my last one ended up, but they're another fairly common diamond, and they go diamond at level four a lot. Their diamond trophy rating is 137, so you want to shoot all of those level four bantang that have 137 within the trophy estimate. And this is just a room where I try to put extras. I have fallow deer and lots of diamond moose and moose are another diamond that because I have been grinding moose for so long I don't taxi diamond moose anymore because they only fit on an extra large plaque and there are only so many of them and I just have nowhere to put them anymore which is kind of sad because I absolutely love diamond moose probably my favorite diamond in the game Okay, and this is the last lodge for today's lodge tour, and it is my absolute favorite. This is my black bear and moose lodge, and moose are my absolute favorite species in the game. Now, before we have a look at the moose, let's have a look at this guy. This is one of my most recent trophies, and this is a melanistic saltwater croc. Isn't he cool? I was absolutely elated when I picked him up. I thought he was melanistic, but I wasn't sure, and indeed he was, and he was a level seven, so he is one of my my favorite rares. Then, these are my first two moose great ones. This was my first moose great one to spawn. He spawned a year ago in December. We actually shot him the next month, one day after this guy spawned, and he is my second. Also a common. Then this guy here is my biggest melanistic moose, 233.5, and I actually spawned him before the moose great one even came out. Now this is my third moose great one and my absolute favorite great one that I have out of all 24 of them. This is a fabled birch with the typical rack, and I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. And the irony also is that it barely took me any kills to spawn him. I was actually trying to do a grind in the New England mountains. I could not get my moose to respawn, so we jumped over to Medved, and within a few minutes, this guy popped out, and I just nearly fell over. <laughs> But this is another spider rack. This is an Ashen with the spider rack. And I now have four spider rack great one moose. But I took this guy down with a recurve shot to the heart. And yes, I was crazy that day. I was absolutely terrifying. I don't know what made me do that. But we got away with it. So <laughs> that was very scary. Sometimes you got to push the limits. But this guy spawned recently. That guy came along December the 13th. And he took 2,770 kills and is an exact duplicate of the last great one that I had spawned. So that was very unfortunate. Just a couple days ago, I decided to jump over and grind a few more moose and 34 kills later, this guy showed up and that was January the 16th. I absolutely love this combo. This is a fabled birch with the spider rack and out of all of the great ones with the spider rack that I have, this is absolutely my favorite. But this here is probably my favorite rare out of all of the rares that I have ever shot. This guy is a 265.8 albino bull moose. He took me over 7,000 kills to spawn and unfortunately he just isn't big enough to be a super rare. He is nine points under diamond but isn't he stunning. I am in love with him. Hands down this is my favorite rare that I have ever shot and here is my one and only great one black bear. I actually got him at about 850 kills about two weeks after the black bear great ones came out and I am just starting up a black bear grind now. I have not grinded them since. So this is a cinnamon with a diamond dark, but this guy is a piebald gator and the piebalds are awesome. 
I wish this white line wouldn't go through them when you are looking at the info. Diamond links. I think diamond links are one of the toughest diamonds to get in the game. Then up here we have a diamond Mexican bobcat, another blue, and a, another diamond links. But this is a sweet trophy. This is an albino saltwater croc. He is a level seven. I did mess up the shot, but I wish I had more room because I think I do need to move him to a floor mount because he is a very sweet trophy. Probably one of my favorite rares as well. This is an eight mythical albino red fox that I got in the New England mountains. I couldn't believe my eyes. I definitely need to play with and make more multi mounts. I need to spend some time in the lodge. Piebald roe deer are absolutely beautiful. And this is one of my favorite multi mounts. We have several monstrous diamond moose. That one's over 300. I need to figure out what my biggest moose diamond is. I'm not even sure. 300.1. I try to have at least one of every moose diamond rack in here because moose are my absolute favorites. So that was my first albino. I actually spawned four moose great ones before getting an albino to spawn, which was over 7,000 kills. And then pretty quickly, this tiny guy came along and then we did get the monster 265 so definitely worth the wait but I still don't have a nice big piebald moose I think my biggest is like 217 basically I have three of them that look exactly like this and they all score between 212 and 217 so I haven't had the greatest luck with the piebald moose so I am hoping to spawn a much bigger one I do have many of them they just refuse to get bigger so I have several gold it's just no big ones, but we have quite a few piebald whitetail in here. And right here is where I put four diamond saltwater crocs. That one, 1049 is the biggest one. And another very recent and very cool trophy is this guy. This is a melanistic coyote that I got off of Leighton Lakes. And I absolutely love this rare. I now want a melanistic red fox. So we are going to be hunting for that. And over the past year, I have managed to get two diamond ringneck pheasants. Not an easy diamond to get and I do somewhere in here have a diamond bob white quail actually I think he's here with the great one there he is that little guy right there <laughs> We found them. So there you have it, guys. Those are my absolute best trophies in the game on PC over the last three years, not including my Xbox trophies. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, click right here for the Trophy Lodge and Multi-Mount Guide.